Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. Google is now set to launch new programming language called Carbon. Recently in CPP event, Google launched a new programming language Carbon and it's a successor of C++. So basically, as we already know that uh, we have the, the C++ is successor of C language and uh, similarly we have TypeScript which is successor of JavaScript language and uh, Swift is successor of Objective-C Kotlin is successor of Java language but there is no such any successor for C++ although there is a programming language called Rust which is but that is, is still in the development phase and uh, not so um, so used so basically for that uh, google introduced carbon and it's a successor of c++ language which is very fast and it can work with web development and then uh, uh, back end development as well so if you will see here we have a github page carbon language and then you can search this thing so it's a modern and involving open source it will be um, open source and uh, here it is saying that c++ right c++ although is very dominant programming language for the performance critical software but it's uh, extremely difficult right both technical and challenging things so to avoid these all things now google is set to launch a new programming language called carbon so it will be similar to performance matching c++ seamless bi-directional interoperability with c++ gentle learning curve and we have a lot of new things available here so the language goal is performance software language evaluation code that is easy to read, easy to understand and easy to write. Practically safety and uh, testing mechanism and uh, it can work with all the modern operating system hardware and environment and uh, there are so much new things is coming up with Carbon. So if you will see the code like this is C++ code where we need to include all the uh, headers and then we can create a structure we have methods and then we have main to call that similar thing we can do with carbon here we have package we can import things similar to python that we were doing and then we have function and then main method which is here you can see we are using they are using arrow function to call the call the method so it's similar to the you know um, new whatever latest programming languages we have and uh, we can see a lot more on this stay tuned to this channel thank you so much for watching the video